color wheel housing. screws for this. Alright, so I got two of the three screws for the color wheel housing back in. I'm about to put the third one in. Um, the color wheel housing on my TV uses the short screws with the uh, little collars on them. The, uh, the color wheel itself used the longer metal screws uh, as opposed to the black ones that most uh, other TV is held together with. Now, the color wheel housing, whoops, the color wheel housing uh, lines up, is lined up by these little plastic things uh, that are coming off of the, the TV. So there are these two little plastic things that stick out and there's a hole for one of the plastic things there and another one up, up there. So let's make sure those two guys line up and then your screw holes will line up. It's my cat you hear in the background. Came over to say hello. might just walk through the shot here in a second. Okay, that is done. So now let me go figure out what I got to put together back together next. All right, next, the color, the top to the color wheel goes on. Oh, and this isn't the color wheel housing. This is actually the uh, lamp housing. So I've been referring to it incorrectly, and. These are the screws for the top here. They have uh, washers on them, and they're metal. So one, this is a piece of tape. And need to remember that the little ground or whatever it is, it's to be on the post. That might just, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's for ground or if it's just to hold that blue wire because it just wraps around the blue wire and pretty much goes nowhere. We'll plug back in. The blue guy. Now this, we probably actually didn't even need to, to really unplug it. Because um, there's enough slack in the wire we could have just removed the housing and moved it off to the side but so when you guys do this that might be a better call for you okay so that's in place so let me check and see what's next all right cooling fan is next so these are the three screws that I 
uh, took out earlier the hidden screw. It wasn't so hidden, I just didn't see it. Other instructions said there was just two, so maybe their TV is different. These are the screws that I put back in their hole so I didn't have to keep track of them, which was good. All right, so that is going to go like so. Oh, there's little guides for it as well. One screw. Two screws. And a third. Now we'll rehook the power wire back up for the fan. And that was routed through this little doohickey or held by this thing also. I'm trying to keep my wire runs clean. Okay. Plugs back into the board over there. So plugs back in the board right there. And run it back through the clip. Okay. So far so good, I do believe. Let's see what's next. So now, we slide the whole tray back in, making sure that we keep our wires clear. right above the lens, so I want to be very careful. Alright, we're going to pause this and I'm going to pause the tape and I'm going to do this. I just figured out why I was having problems. I was sliding in the wrong uh, sideways. So, Trying not to block the camera, but we're out of the way. Clear these wires over the overheating switch slide it in like that and let's check and see if the screw holes line up that one yep they line up so screw that thing back together all right be right back <laughs> 